Multiply 3.0 Tutorial 6 The Weight Cue. So the weight cue, which is this icon up here, simply puts a wait time in between cues. Here's an example of what I did here. I have my rain cue playing and we'll see here that it's fade out and then play. So this cue is going to play in its entirely but when it starts to fade out, it's going to jump or play the next cue, which is my wait cue. My wait cue is also an end play. So the wait cue, we have to wait for that cue to process. And I've said that this wait cue is going to be five seconds in length. And then it will jump to the next cue and play. So it's going to wait till the end of the wait cue, which is five seconds long, and then jump to the next cue and play the next cue. So basically, I put a little wait time in here. So this cue will play. When it starts to fade out, it will jump to the wait cue. The wait cue will count down five seconds and then jump to the next cue and then play that. So that's one way that you can use that. I'll show you how this works. Fade in. Fade out. The wait cue has started. Five second countdown starts the next audio cue. There are some different ways you can use that, but this is probably the most practical way that you can use that wait cue to just insert a wait time between two different cues in your cue list.